Good day, grade 9 students. How are you today? I hope you're doing fine. It's another great day of learning new things. This is your teacher broadcaster in Science 9 of Santa Ana National High School. I'm Teacher Odessa. Before we are going to start our lesson, we I request everyone watching today to have a positive mindset, ready to focus on today's lesson, and be sure that you are seated comfortably and can clearly listen to this broadcast to understand clearly with our lesson for today. So lastly, please prepare your Science Quarter 3 Module 7 together with your pen for today's exciting activities. So previously, in your grade 8, some characteristics of a star such as sizes, color, and brightness we all know that these star differ in many ways. So today's lesson is focused on what we call as constellation. So as we go on with our discussion, we will find the answer to this question. Why some constellations are not seen at certain months of the year? So this topic is based on the most essential learning competencies of the Department of Education, which is to show which constellation may be observed at the different times of the year using different models. So at the end of our lesson, you are expected to first define constellation, um, identify the different constellation, and of course, you can show which constellation may be observed at the different times of the year. So let's start. When you look at the sky, what are you looking at? Do you see pictures of animals, objects, humans? So here are now some of the pictures of the constellation. Now, all right, students, in ancient times, Observers have pictured a group of um, stars, creating images of animals, objects, and humans. So constellations are the name of this imaginary group of stars. So in the sky, you can see millions of stars. Have you tried to imagine how many constellations in the world are there? So officially, our astronomers identified almost 88 constellations, so distributed in space as a whole. So, relative to their location on Earth, these constellations are grouped only into two. In the northern sky of the equator, there are 44 visible constellations, and the remaining 44 can be seen in the southern sky. So, is it amazing? Right? So, are you excited to know what are the names of this constellation? Now, let's continue. The table below shows some of the constellation in its Latin names and its English names. So, one of it is Andromeda, which has the same word as Andromeda in English. Aquarius means water bearer in English. Aquila means eagle in English. Aries means ram in English. Cancer means crab in English. And then Canis Major is a big dog. Capricornus is a goat. While Cassiopeia is a queen. The signals of the northern star is a swan. The Draco is a dragon. The Gemini has an English name means twins. Hercules, the same also English name as Hercules. Leo is a lion. The lynx is also a lynx in English. Lyra is a lyre. Orion means hunter in English. Pisces is a fish. And then Sagittarius is an archer. The Scorpius means scorpion. The Taurus is a bull. While the Ursa Major is a great bear. And the Ursa Minor is a little bear. So, on your next slide, it shows the different constellations that we see in the sky. So, take a look at the different images uh, on the screen. So, alright students, so these are now some of the examples of the different constellations. 
Are you still excited to learn more about constellation? So, let's continue! In the Orsa Minor constellation, which is generally known as the North Star, or a little deeper, is what we call as Polaris, is one of the brightest stars. It's very close to the Northern Celestial Pole, making the current star of the Northern Pole. Since it's almost in the direct line with the rotation of the Earth's axis above the North Pole, the Polaris is almost motionless as we see in the sky. And all the stars in the northern sky tend to rotate. So, have you wondered why some constellations are not seen at a certain month? So, in a single night, do, you do not see all these constellations because only during some seasons can certain constellations can be seen. So, as the seasons change, the portion of the sky visible at night at a given location steadily changes. So, observers at various latitudes see different constellations in any one day. So, any observer on Earth can see only the constellations scattered in a particular part of the sky as the planet moves in the direction and its revolution. So, throughout the year, the constellation tend to change location in the sky as the Earth revolves around the sun. So now, these are now the 30 visible constellations from the northern hemisphere, in which five can be seen throughout, throughout the year while the others appear seasonally. So now, here are the list of the season of what to watch um, constellations to watch for. So during the winter season, the constellations and the scene uh, are the following the Canis Major, the, Sen the Cetus, the Eridanus, the Gemini, the Orion, the Persus, and the Taurus. During the spring season, the constellations are the following Utes, um, Cancer, Crater, Hydra, Leo, and Virgo. While on during summer, um, Achilles, Cygnus, Hercules, Lyra, Ophicius, Sagittarius, and the Scorpius can be seen. And during fall, Andromeda, Aquarius, Capricornus, Pegasus, and the Pisces um, constellations can be seen. But always remember that the Earth's hemisphere has different seasons. There are four seasons in some parts of the world, while others or other countries experience only two Seasons. To better understand why some constellations are not seen at a certain month, let's analyze and evaluate this figure together. So this time, let's consider our country, the Philippines. So in the Philippines, during summer, the constellation of Orion and Taurus are not visible at night. They are visible again only during the the cold season. As the cold season begins, this Orion and Taurus can be visible. But during this time, the Scorpius will not be seen on the night sky, while the Gemini is seen during April and May in the country. But remember, an observer from the Earth will be able to see the stars that are on the night side. The stars on the same side as the sun cannot be seen because sunlight overpowers all the starlights. The earth revolves around its orbit. Now, the star that were concealed by the bright light of the sun in the previous months will appear in the sky. So, to find out more, if you understand our lesson, let's exercise our mind through this activity. So, kindly open your module on page 7, activity number 1, about constellation in the sky. So, you are asked now to draw at least 5 constellations and identify their names. So, you do this on a short band paper. But please read and understand the criteria for the drawing before doing your task. So, here are now the criteria and its points. So, um, for accuracy, I will give you 30 points. 
for appearance, I will give you 25 points. For the neatness of your drawing is 25 points. While the timeliness in passing your activity is 20 points. So the total of it is 100 points. Now, since you need to uh, more time to finish the task, you will submit your output during the next module description. Or you can submit it on time, uh, on, on online if you are done ahead of time. So, is that clear, students? So, here is now the direction of your activity. You unscramble the letters to make the name of the constellation. So, you can find them in every season of the year. That is your hint. So, here is now your question number one. Are you ready? Let's begin. What? Constellation that can be seen during the fall. Number two, it is a kind of constellation that can be seen during winter in the northern hemisphere. Number three, it is a constellation that can be seen during summer. Number four, it is a constellation that can be seen during spring. Number five, it is a constellation that can be seen during the month of April and May. Number six, it is a constellation that can be seen during the cold season in the Philippines. Number seven, it is a constellation that can be seen during spring. Number eight, it is a constellation that can be seen during summer. Number 9, it is a constellation that can be seen during summer again. While the last one, number 10, it is a constellation that can be seen during summer. So, great job students! You were able to unscramble the letters and find the right name of the constellation. So, Alright students, this time, let us sum up our lesson. Let's gather together all that we have discussed and learned today. So first one, we discuss about constellations. So constellation now is a group of uh, or patterns of stars which appear close together that forms a prominent formation. The constellation appears to move during the course of the night across the sky from east to west because of the rotation of the Earth is active. Now, only during some seasons can certain constellations be seen. You should also know that observers at various latitudes see different constellations in any one So, wow! What a great information we have today. So, is everything clear? If yes, we will proceed now to your evaluation. Let's check if you understood our lesson for today. Okay? So let us answer and accomplish questions found on your self-learning module, um, which is found on page 9 to 11. Read the questions carefully. Write your answer on your answer sheet. And take note, students, don't forget to pass your answer sheets to your respective science Okay, so now for more fun and learning tasks, please do read and answer other activities in your module, uh, which is found on page 8. Let us enhance about the activity number 3, Constellation Card, and answer the questions on Let Us Reflect. They are all found on page 12 of your self-learning module. You can do it, students. Make a study your habit. So this ends our lesson for today. Well done, grade 9 students. I am so glad that you learned a lot from our lesson today. So if you have any questions about your module and encounter any difficulties in answering your task, do not hesitate to consult your teacher. Always bear in mind that you are not alone. Feel free to send message to text, email, or messenger. So again, this is your teacher, broadcaster for today. I am Teacher Odessa. Have a blessed day, everyone. Study well for better future. 
Thank you for watching and stay safe always.